Hey everybody, this is Mars Peach attempting to make a video for the third time. I tried to make a couple uh, the other day. I still have them up, but the audio was just not... It, I could hear it okay on my computer, and especially with my headphones on, but once I uploaded it to YouTube, it, it they are just so quiet, and especially with my laptop speakers, I can't even hear myself. My problem is the uh, internal mic on my computer really doesn't sound good at all, and if I wear the headset, it makes a really bad humming noise. I don't know why, maybe it's if the mic is pointed down, so I have to wear it like this, and I'm just going to make sure it's really close to my mouth and just try to speak up so everybody can hear me. Uh, this video is a response to a video, a tag, I guess, that's been going around. Um, the Artsy Gal 12 did one I really liked about her top 10 favorite book covers, and then a couple other people have responded to that, like uh, Danny Marks Way, I know, did one, and I really liked those, so I decided I would do my own. Um, I couldn't think of exactly 10, so it was either like 5 or like 20 or something. So I got it down to about 6 ones that I like and 6 covers that I don't really like. I'm going to start with the good ones. Um, these are not in order, by the way, except maybe for the last one. The first one I have is... The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Stieg Larsson. Um, I actually haven't read this book yet. I've read the, uh, the first two in the trilogy, and I think they're okay, but I really feel like they're really overhyped, to tell you the truth. But I really love this cover. I don't know if it's just because it's shiny, or I, I like uh, the silver with the red dots and the little um, hornets right here. I just like the color scheme of the dots on it, especially with the red. I think it looks nice. I'm weird, maybe. Um, my next one is, oh, can you see here? Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. And I like the whole series of covers, but I only own this one, the first one. You can see it better. I just like the dark background with um, this light uh, flower or I think that's, or is it a shell? I don't even know because I'm stupid. In the front, I just think it looks really nice. Um, God, I can't even turn my head because this mic, like, jabs me in the face. Maybe I'll try it like that. So, okay. Next one is Eyes Like Stars by, oh yeah, Lisa Matchev. Um, again, there's another one I know that's out that has a really nice cover too, but I don't have the second one yet. I really love this. It looks kind of like a manga or an anime character, and I just think it's really pretty. That's it. Next, ooh, that will save for last, I have Matched. Oh, there, now you can see it without the glare, by Ali Condi. Um... The cover was one of the things that drew me in to this book. Then and the hype, and I had just come off a Hunger Games kick, and I really liked the Hunger Games. I'd, I'd also really liked The Giver when I was younger, so I wanted to read another dystopian, and it was all the hype and the cover. Unfortunately, I think the book itself is only just mediocre, but I really I love the cover d design. Like the back, the the colors, like the font, and the girl in the bubble, like trying to escape. I think that's actually a really good representation of, of the book. I think the book could have been a little bit better, but I'm still gonna read the rest of the trilogy. I've seen the cover for Cross, the second one online, and I think I like it even more than this. Um, it's blue, and um, she's like trying to escape out of the bubble, so. I feel like it's really a good representation of the books, along with being really nice to look at. Next, I have Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Um, I did not know until recently. I always really liked this cover because I thought it was just simple with a nice kind of uh, shimmery 
not really shimmery, but like it has a sheen to it without being too overly shiny. The I love the blue co color and um, I love the shiny lettering and I think it's really oh there we go if I hold it just like that um, you can see it's actually a girl's face in here at first I thought it was just shininess and then I saw someone somewhere online someone commented like oh I didn't even notice the girl in there I'm like what girl and then I looked at him like oh my god yeah here's uh, her eyes and then there's her mouth down there. If I take the dust jacket off, I can see if I can even get it off. There she is. I actually don't like this picture at all, but <laughs> I think the girl in here is supposed to be like almost 18, and this lady looks like she's 30. Maybe it's just a weird pose. But I think that's just such a cool idea, even though I don't actually like this. It's really neat. And inventive um, and my number one which I mentioned in my first video but probably if you watched it I don't even know if you could hear what I was saying it is across the universe by Beth Revis um, I talked about why I liked it already but just in case I better go into it again um, I love this picture I feel it does kind of it makes the book seem more a little bit like it's gonna be more of a romance story than it is. It's actually more sci-fi dystopian with a little bit of romance. But if you take, I like the whole cover in itself, not just the picture. If you take that off, you can even see on here it's embossed with uh, the logo of the spaceship, the Godspeed. And you can't really read it unless I, but it's uh, it's there. Godspeed. 0s v version 1.2 then the cover is actually reversible which is what I really love about it inside is this is a blueprint of the ship the Godspeed which I think is really cool and also instead of having a picture of the author it has right here there's a picture just of a girl and it kind of the main character in the book Amy has red hair and I wonder if that's supposed to also represent her but I just I really love the whole besides just the picture just the whole cover idea in itself I think is really neat and cool I've never seen anything like that okay so those were my top I don't know six or seven favorite book covers at least of the moment Make sure you stay tuned for my next video, which is actually going to be up at like the same time of my least favorite book covers. And thank you for watching.